Uh, Thursday, October 4th, the day after the debate, pretty sunset, beautiful fall day here in Utah. Okay, the debate, I, I just gotta, gotta say something. Everybody in the world's talking about it, I guess 50 million people watched it from what I heard, so what happened? Mitt crushed Obama. Crushed him. Crushed. It wasn't even fair. It's got the NBA, and uh, uh, Obama's got uh, the law degree from the Kennedy School of Government there at Harvard, both Harvard guys. I know Obama went to Stanford as an undergrad, but uh, graduate degrees at Harvard. So, Mick killed him. It, it wasn't fair. And you know what? I've been watching this whole thing for years, and Obama never has a challenge. You know, it's always softball, 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 hardball with Chris Matthews. It's like slow pitch softball. You know, Communist News Network, excuse me, CNN. It's like, you know, anything to find something great about Obama until recently. And then denigrating Mitt, wiping out Mitt, Time Magazine. How come people don't like him? Well, you know, I'm so sick of seeing all this stuff because Mitt Romney's not perfect and nobody is. But Mitt Romney is a stud in business. And uh, I just, you know... Having gone through Harvard Business School, yeah, I went through there, and I'm not in the corporate thing because that wasn't my deal. You know, one of the things, being a consultant for Bain or McKinsey or any of those, uh, Booz Allen, any of those huge consulting companies is one of the hardest jobs getting out of Harvard. Everybody know, knew that at Harvard. I mean, you work long hours, you're on flights all the time, you don't see your kids. The fact that Mitt held a, together a family of five children and built a consulting firm, major stud in business. Lately, oh gosh, for at least a year, I like to listen to Alex Jones. And, you know, I can't be too hard on Alex Jones, but he just doesn't know what he's talking about when it comes to business. He knows a lot of stuff. He studied the conspiracy more than I have, I think. Uh, but I've studied theology more than he has, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. So I like to integrate both things, but when he cuts down Mitts, says, oh, Mitts on the take or this or that, it's like, dude, you have no clue. You have no clue consulting, building Bain, what he's done. You know, being state president at the same time and when, while he's there, getting a JD MBA, hard enough to just get an MBA, I'll tell you that much. So, oh, a lot of jets flying over. Wow, USAF. See, look at that. Interesting. A huge military plane flying over right there. Anyway, life is interesting, but back to the debate. Holy shnikes. Um, Mitt's been taught to, like, make a case. Yeah, at school at Harvard, but then he's done it over and over. And then people cut down Staples. Hey, Staples was, I remember, they, it was started, you know, a little company. And LBOs, it's the free market, you guys. So you guys that cut down Mitt and say he's had to give it to him or whatever, you don't know what you're talking about. Last night was basically advanced socialism or communism under Obama versus socialism, you know, which Mitt Romney was talking about. The pure constitution is out. Ron Paul wasn't in a debate. He's out. He's gone. I remember being back in business school. Yeah, I, I couldn't help but reminisce. You know, if you really get constitutional, there's no Medicare. There's no Medicaid. Those things are unconstitutional. Transfer payments are unconstitutional. The Constitution wasn't set up to take from this person and give to somebody else. So, we bo both of them believe in a certain amount of socialism, a very large amount, from according to the truth. But Obama is like completely ten planks type dude, okay? You know, you really got to take the money from the producers and give it to the non-producers. And these people that say, oh, Mitt Romney's not paying enough taxes. I mean, I'm so sick of hearing this. I could like, I could puke, you know? It's just like, I guess they, they want to move to Russia or they like communism or they love Obamanism. So Mitt crushed the debate. It's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is bring up facts. And so I was listening to Alex Jones and you look around it, it you know, watching, uh, oh, I don't know, the guys, David Broder and... Tom Brokaw, some of these, Brokaw did okay, but these other guys, they try to like <laughs> say that Obama didn't, didn't crash and burn 100%. It's like, you gotta be kidding me, man. He was out of his league, completely out of his league, with a guy that's done businesses, built billions of dollars of value, sure, destroyed some value, sure, some failures. In the free market, there's successes and failures. So, anybody out there that wants to criticize Mitt for not being successful in business does not know what they're talking about whether it's Alex Jones or some super liberal guy on, on the Communist News Network or whoever it is, they don't know what they're talking about. They really don't. They're clueless. So, the debate last night, Mitt crushed them. A uh, couple videos, I think Mitt's going to win. And then the economy, bottom line, the total collapse. 
overnight type collapse after that. Is it in the cards? Are you kidding me? It's just like, you know, economy's over. It's just like, you know, if you're holding a 21 and the dealer busts with, you know, 28 or something. It's like freaking over. It is over. The question is, how does the aftermath go? So, I don't know what Obama's going to do. He probably needs to, like, not show up in the next debate or... Because he's history. Got a super intelligent, articulate guy that's built tons of businesses, been successful in real business in the real world, didn't have it handed to him against a guy that is 100% socialist. No, no contest, no contest, no contest.